today, I'm going to take the popular concept of a hot chocolate bomb and turn it into a hot butterbeer bomb. The things you'll need to create our hot butterbeer bombs are some half dome silicone molds. That way it'll create a full sphere. We are going to use some salted caramel candy melts, but you could also use white chocolate. You will need some French vanilla as well as butterscotch pudding mix, one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a whisk for mixing and a bowl for mixing, and then optionally you can use some butter sprinkles or butter flavoring. To embellish, we will use a piping bag, uh, gold luster dust, and a brush. Then you will need a microwavable plate as well as the mugs to serve your butterbeer bombs in. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take our salted caramel candy melts and we are going to put them into a glass Pyrex container and we are going to melt them and that'll make it easier for us to be able to pour it into the mold so that we can create our empty spheres. And we're going to pop this in the microwave. Now that we have our candy melts all melted, we're going to go ahead and start to fill some of our domes. Once you have filled some of the candy melt in there or the melted chocolate, we just want to use the back of a spoon to help coat the whole inside of the mold. Okay, so now that we have uh, spooned the inside of all of our molds, we're going to go ahead and flip this upside down so that we can make sure that there's not too much chocolate sitting on the bottom of our mold, which would actually be the top, depending on which part of the ball it will end up being. And we're going to do the same thing to the other one. And now that we have coated our spheres, we're going to put them in the freezer. While our chocolate is in the freezer, we're going to go ahead and make our actual butterbeer mix. So you could definitely make this mix and just put it in a jar and spoon it out to just make instant butterbeer whenever you want. So don't feel like you have to put this in a bomb, but with all of the hot cocoa bombs that are all over TikTok and Instagram and everywhere else, I just thought it would be kind of fun to create a Harry Potter themed bomb out of a butterbeer. And you know, what's more iconic for Harry Potter than the butterbeer flavor? So that's what we're going to do today. So all we're going to do is dump all of our ingredients in here. And these are the 3.5 ounce boxes of pudding. The pudding will help thicken up your butterbeer a little bit, but it'll also give it a really great sweet, creamy texture. Okay, then we are going to dump the one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar in there. the quarter cup of brown sugar. And then I'm just using a half a teaspoon of that butter flavoring or butter sprinkles. And again, that's completely optional, but I just think it gives it a good like buttery undertone. And then we're gonna whisk this all together. And we have our butterbeer mix. Okay, I just pulled these out of the freezer and we're gonna go ahead and unmold them. Okay, so now that they are all unmolded, we're gonna take half of these and fill them with some of our butterbeer mixture. And I find that two tablespoons seems to be a good amount. You could definitely add some marshmallows to this if you want. You could add some butterscotch chips, but really since we're using the salted caramel, you're gonna get enough of that butterscotch flavoring with the pudding mix and the candy melt that you won't need to put any extra chips in here. But if you're using white chocolate, you might opt to go ahead and add some of those butterscotch chips just to give it a little bit more of a butterscotch taste. One of the reasons I really love this salted caramel is because it just adds a little tiny touch of salt, which I think balances out the super sweetness of the butterbeer and just kind of balances it out and gives it a really good flavor. Okay, 
So now that half of our spheres are filled, I'm gonna go ahead and microwave a plate for just about 30 seconds to a minute. So it will actually melt the edge of our tops so that we can attach it to the bottom. So now all we're gonna do is take our top and put it on the plate so that it starts to melt that edge. And once it melts, then we just place it on top of the bottom. And that way they adhere together. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of our bombs. And now that we have our little bombs, you could stop right here and this could be all you do to them. And it would work really well in your mug with a bunch of hot milk over it and it would just burst into a beautiful butterbeer. But we're gonna take this one step further. One way that we are going to embellish some of these, and this is completely optional, is we are going to take some white chocolate that I melted in a piping bag. And we are going to create a couple wings to create a golden snitch butterbeer bomb. So to do that, I'm just going to snip the very end of my piping bag. And I'm going to draw out the wing. And we can let those cool and they will create little wings for our butterbeer bomb. So while our wings are hardening, I'm going to show you a couple other things we can do to decorate these. So one thing we can do is take some gold luster dust and make the balls for the golden snitch ones gold. So we're just going to take some of the gold luster dust and we are going to rub it onto our chocolates. And it's going to give that really great sparkly gold glitter. Anytime you're going to hold your bombs, try to do it minimally because you don't want to melt any of the chocolate. Because our shells are pretty thin, that way that they will burst open with the hot milk in the mug. And another thing we can do besides adding some gold luster to it. would be to just create some chocolate swirls over the ball. And I like the contrast between the white chocolate and the salted caramel because I feel like it gives you the look of the foam of a butterbeer and the body of a butterbeer. And we'll come back when our wings are dry. Okay, so now that my wings are nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead and attach them to our golden snitch butterbeer bombs. And to do that, we're just gonna take a little bit of our white chocolate. And we're just gonna put a little bit on there, almost like hot glue. And we have one little wing. So I'm gonna attach the other one. And now we have our little golden snitch butterbeer hot chocolate bombs. And there you have it, our hot butterbeer bombs. Perfect for a cold winter's day. These are a great way to bring the wizarding world a little bit closer, especially in the holiday season. These would be a really great gift. You could just wrap these in some cellophane and give them to your friends or family. This would be a fun thing to do for a Harry Potter movie night or something yummy to sip after a long day of shopping. A fun thing you could add for some adults in your life would be some baby bottles of either butterscotch liqueur or butterscotch schnapps to kind of take the butterbeer to a whole nother level. And honestly, you could just wrap your butterbeer bomb in some cellophane and then add the little baby bottle of liqueur with it and it would make a really cute gift. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.